once upon a time, in the dim recesses of a cave in what is now northern Spain, an artist carefully applied red paint to the cave wall to create a geometric design, a ladder-shaped symbol composed of vertical and horizontal lines. Hundreds of kilometers to the southwest, working by the flickering firelight of a torch or oil lamp in the otherwise pitch darkness, another artist pressed a palm to a cave wall and blew red paint around the fingers to create a stenciled handprint. In a third cave, located in the far south, curtain-like calcite formations were decorated in shades of scarlet. Nothing of the artists themselves remains to establish their identity, but archaeologists have long assumed cave painting to be the sole purview of Homo sapiens. Although another group of large-brained humans the Neanderthals lived at the right time and in the right place to be the creators of some European cave art. Only Homo sapiens had the cognitive sophistication needed to develop symbolic behavior, including art. Or so many experts thought. But new dating of the images in these three Spanish caves could put that enduring notion to rest. In a paper published in Science magazine in 2018, Researchers reported that some of these images are far older than the earliest known fossils of Homo sapiens in Western Europe, which suggests that they were instead created by Neanderthals. The findings open a new window into the minds of our oft-maligned cousins. They also raise key questions about the origin of symbolic thought and what exactly distinguishes Homo sapiens from other members of the human family. The dating results come as a vindication long in the making for Neanderthals, who've had an image problem since the early 20th century. Back in 1911, French paleontologist Marceline Boulle reconstructed a Neanderthal skeleton from the site of La Chapelle aux Saints in France, portraying it as an ape-like brute. In the decades that followed, scientists discovered that Neanderthals were actually much more like us physically than Boulle thought. They also discovered that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens made the same kinds of stone tools for millennia. Unfortunately, though, the bad rap stuck. For a long time, the most significant distinction between Neanderthals and modern humans seemed to be that Neanderthals didn't make or use symbols. While Homo sapiens left behind jewelry, sculptures, and cave paintings, all products of symbolic thought, no such items could be unequivocally attributed to Neanderthals. But in recent years, evidence for Neanderthal symbolic behavior has been accumulating from sites across Europe. In Gibraltar, a Neanderthal engraved a hashtag-like symbol in the bedrock of a cave. In Croatia, Neanderthals harvested eagle talons and appear to have fashioned them into necklaces. At sites in Gibraltar and Italy, they hunted birds for their feathers perhaps to wear as ceremonial headdresses and capes. In Spain, they made shell jewelry and mixed sparkly paint, which they may have used as a kind of cosmetic. And in a cave in France, Neanderthals erected semicircular walls of stalagmites, possibly for some ritual purpose. The list goes on. Still, a key form of symbolic expression appeared to be missing from the Neanderthal repertoire, rock art. The spectacular cave paintings of woolly rhinos, mammoths, and other Ice Age animals at famous sites, such as Chauvet and Lascaux. Spectacular cave paintings of woolly rhinos, mammoths, and other Ice Age animals at famous sites, such as Chauvet and Lascaux. Contrary, scientists assumed all cave paintings everywhere were likewise the handiwork of Homo sapiens. But in 2012, researchers led by archaeologist Alastair Pike now at the University of Southampton in England, made a discovery that challenged this assumption. The team dated dozens of paintings from caves in Spain and found several that were older than previously thought. One image, a red disc in El Castillo cave, was found to have a minimum age of 40,800 years, old enough to be the work of a Neanderthal and almost too old to be a modern human creation. Homo sapiens is thought to have reached Western Europe no sooner than about 42,000 years ago. At a press conference announcing the 2012 findings, 
The study's co-author, Joao Ziliao of the University of Barcelona, declared that any art from Europe found to be more than 42,000 years old must be attributed to Neanderthals. Six years later, such art was found. In their 2018 study, Pike, Ziliao and their colleagues dated paintings in three caves located in different regions of Spain, La Pasiega in Cantabria, Maltravieso in Extremadura, and Ardales in Andalusia. Although the caves contain a mix of figurative and non-figurative images, the researchers focused their efforts on the non-figurative variety. As Pike explains, we found in our 2012 study that the earliest dates we were getting were on red non-figurative art, lines, dots, symbols, and hand stencils. So, for this project, we focused on paintings similar to these. As in the 2012 study, the team determined the age of the paintings using a radiometric technique called uranium-thorium dating, which is based on the radioactive decay of uranium into thorium over time. Specifically, they used samples of the thin crusts of carbonate that have formed on top of the paintings and analyzed their thorium content to gauge the age of the crust, which provides a minimum age for the underlying painting. Their efforts were richly rewarded. The analyses show all three caves contain paintings dating to at least 64,800 years ago, which means Neanderthals across Spain were making rock art more than 20,000 years before modern humans set foot in Western Europe. Genevieve von Petzinger, then still a PhD candidate at the University of Victoria in British Columbia focusing on prehistoric symbols, noted that when Pike and his collaborators raised the possibility of Neanderthal artists in 2012, they got a lot of static from their peers, who argued there was no reason to credit Neanderthals over modern humans for the El Castillo images. This is the mic drop, von Petzinger said, of the newly dated paintings. At 65,000, there's no way it's modern humans. Not only do the dates point to Neanderthals making the art, they also indicate that Neanderthals came up with these artistic ideas on their own. When archaeologists first began uncovering signs of Neanderthal symbolism, all the evidence came from the tail end of the Neanderthals' lifespan as a species, by which point modern humans had established themselves in Europe. Some researchers posited that Neanderthals were simply copying their modern human neighbors, perhaps without really understanding what they were doing. But the new dates have convinced even the proponents of this idea, such as Thomas Hyam of the University of Oxford, who's been dating sites across Europe to develop a chronology of the displacement of Neanderthals by modern humans, and who wasn't involved in the new study. I think the most parsimonious explanation on current evidence is that it is Neanderthals that must be making these representations," said Hyam. But could the ancient paintings instead signal that Homo sapiens reached this part of Europe earlier than the fossil record indicates? After all, recent discoveries elsewhere in the world suggest our species originated and began spreading out of Africa thousands of years earlier than previously thought. It's possible, Hyam admits, but there is no evidence for it yet. Some experts have dismissed previous examples of Neanderthal art, like the Gibraltar hashtag engraving, as predictably unimpressive compared to the figurative art modern humans made. Von Petzinger disagrees. When researchers joke about the sophistication of Neanderthal art, I think they're missing the point, she said. The big cognitive leap is making the graphic mark. It's the ability to store information outside the body. In a general sense, she observed, the creation of abstract signs marks the first step toward written language. Hyam insists that what is now needed is a wide-ranging analysis of other cave art using the same techniques to explore other potential cases. Pike and his team have continued to do exactly that. Hand stencils of dots and discs are found in caves all over Europe, Pike has noted. We would like to start dating art outside Spain to see if Neanderthal painting was as widely distributed as Neanderthals were. 
One school of thought holds that Homo sapiens were able to displace Neanderthals by virtue of superior intellect and symbolic capabilities, including language. But if Neanderthals had cave painting traditions, then researchers will need to grapple with the question of whether their behavior actually differed from that of modern humans in any meaningful way.